What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth the L channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the update to 3.65 for the PlayStation Vita. Now this is for formulas for 3.61, 3.63. Now this is amazing, pretty cool. It's easy to use so we'll go ahead and get QCMA. So we go to the website. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description and we download the version. I have Windows so I'm going to be using that. You guys see that I already have it installed. So go get it. Now we will also be using Sadig. Have you seen my previous videos? I've used this one on the Switch. We will get the update and an XML file. Now I found this tutorial or guide which is pretty cool and I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. So what this will do, we will go ahead and update your PlayStation Vita so that we can prepare for the new Hankaku exploit. Now the exploit runs on 3.65 and above so you need to update to that before you can proceed. Now do not update through the internet to 3.68. You cannot install Hankaku Enso on system versions 3.67 and above. So we will go ahead and get the firmware or the PUP file. Now, as you guys can see, this is already renamed for you. Now, depending on what region you are in, then you will download the XML file. I am in the US, so I'll go ahead and get that one. Now, you can go ahead and read some more about how to do it and the steps as well, which is pretty cool. This is a pretty nice tutorial. So, I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. Okay, so now I just wanted to show you the XML file. You guys will see that it's updated so that the PlayStation Vita can capture the information. Now I'm going to copy those two files and I'm going to download PSV updates and then you guys can see I already had one in there. I'm going to paste. I'm going to replace the information. So that's all we need to do. Remember document and PSV update. So now we're going to be using Sadig. So I'm going to run Sadig and we go to options list all devices and then I'm going to select the drop down you guys will see that my PlayStation Vita is not detected because I have not connected now I connected my PlayStation Vita and you guys will see we selected okay so it'll load some information we select the other drop down and we select install driver and then we do replace driver okay so this is if you're having problems with QCMA if it's not connecting your PlayStation Vita then you will need to install the driver so that's where the date comes into play okay cool so we're ready we have all the files now we will launch content manager on our PC okay and we will refresh the database just in case Okay, so now I will show you the settings. Now on the settings, make sure you have to the latest firmware and then the latest. Now uncheck the ignore local file XML on update folder and then everything else how it is. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita. And now I'm going to launch content manager, copy content now it's going to be connecting and it's going to prompt me for an update okay this is where the trick is click the PS button okay your PlayStation Vita will remain connected to your PC and we go to settings okay remember to be in flight mode it is really important now I wanted to show you the system Auto start settings and uncheck all those checkboxes just in case we don't want anything to be updated automatically we go to system information and I am on 3.63 okay so now it's time to update our firmware so system update and then we're going to update by connecting to a PC okay you guys will see that the PC is prompting or giving us information that 
an update has been available so now we see that it's 3.65 make sure it's 3.65 and we select next then we select yes and we let it ride guys this is pretty cool now we check our system system information there you have it guys 3.65 ready for Enzo on that version this is amazing can't wait till July 1st so now another extra step if you guys want to block update then you guys can follow the tutorial and we will set the Henkaku DNS on our PlayStation Vita okay so we go to our network Wi-Fi settings now you have already set up your Wi-Fi in your PlayStation Vita so we select our network okay so we go to advanced settings then we go to DNS settings we select manual and then now primary DNS we will go ahead and put that information 212.47.229.76 and we select OK now you guys want to see if you had arc on 3.65 it will no longer work there you guys have it so you can wait a day prior to July the 1st or you can update now and be ready so guys if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always game and rebirth out